Prince Andrew was facing the prospect of a trial after a New York judge dismissed his attempt to throw out Virginia Giffra's case on a legal technicality. What could happen to the Duke of York after the latest developments? The Duke of York could face a civil trial over allegations made by Virginia Giffra that he sexually assaulted her when she was a minor under U.S. law. The prince denies all allegations against him. Prince Andrew's legal team attempted to have the case thrown out on the basis of a 2009 agreement between convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein and Ms. Giffer, then Roberts. The settlement between Ms. Jeffrey and Epstein, who died in prison in 2019, detailed how Prince Andrew's accuser had received a $500,000, £370,000 payout in 2009, and agreed to release, acquit satisfy, and forever discharge the disgraced financier and any other person or entity who could have been included as a potential defendant. His lawyers argued the agreement meant the Duke of York could not be tried, with Andrew B. Brettler, the Duke's lawyer, claiming during a virtual hearing his client was a potential defendant as defined by the agreement and so the case should be dismissed. In his counter, argument, David Boyce, mischievous lawyer, said only the parties of the settlement agreement, Epstein, Ms. Jeffrey and their associates, could benefit from it and not a third party such as the Duke of York. But Judge Louisa Kaplan ruled, the 2009 agreement cannot be said to demonstrate, clearly and unambiguously, the parties intended the instrument directly, primarily, or substantially, to benefit Prince Andrew. He continued, the law prohibits the court from considering at this stage of the proceedings defendants' efforts to cast doubt on the truth of Ms. Jiffer's allegations, even though his efforts would be permissible at trial. In a similar vein and for similar reasons, it is not open to the court now to decide, as a matter of fact, just what the parties to the release in the 2009 settlement agreement signed by Ms. Jeffrey and Jeffrey Epstein actually meant. The ruling is a significant blow for the royal family in a year of momentous importance to the Queen, who will celebrate her Diamond Jubilee on Monday, February 6. Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the development, saying, We would not comment on what is an ongoing legal matter. The ongoing legal battle will now go one of two ways. Trial in a New York court, or an out of court settlement, if Ms. Gifford decides that is the path she wishes to take. Sarah Krisoff, a former prosecutor in the Southern District of New York, said Prince Andrew cannot appeal at this point, as the ruling is an interim judgment. She explained, the civil case will move forward. They will proceed into a period called discovery where each side will exchange information with each other and be allowed to do depositions. A deposition is a declaration under oath. She said, it's basically not a final judgment on the case, but the interim decision that will allow the case to move forward. Assessing the prince's path forward, she said, he has to seriously be considering the possibility of resolving this case prior to discovery. I'm confident that he does not want to be deposed, for, people close to him to be deposed, and in order to do that he has to resolve the case before it gets to that point. I'm certain they're having those discussions in his team right now, and perhaps even having discussions with Giffer's lawyers as well so they can discuss whether the case is going to move forward into the discovery phase, or whether there is some sort of resolution the parties can reach outside of the courtroom. Thomas Garner, extradition partner at Flatgate, told Express.co.uk, these directions will involve the service of evidence and the taking of depositions, and each stage will bring further embarrassment to the prince and the palace here.